tell you about a tale of paternal jealousy. Well, you just couldn't, you wouldn't know where to begin. It's incestuous relationships That's in this true. one as yes. well. And, and revenge. Re a lot of revenge. Oh, yeah. It was one of the most controversial TV dramas, actually, of its time. And uh, now, 30 years on, A Bouquet of Barbed Wire is back on our screens with a new look. For everything I love. I'm guessing you're not at school anymore, Gavin. But I am, sir, in a way. I'm an English teacher. Come on to it's a have a drop proof. I've got a lesson. And then you're pregnant. She's the loveliest, kindest, funnest girl, and she's married the most horrible man imaginable. <laughs> I think my father and my husband are connected in a way that neither of them want me to know about. That man there, he's in the studio now, Tom Riley, who plays uh, Gavin. Gavin, you look who's disgusted the teacher. with yourself. Yeah, I, can't, I can't bear to look at it. Well, <laughs> awful. Could I ask you the, the, the most important question, first of all, and perhaps mm. the, the deepest question of all about this dark drama? Um, is it bouquet or bouquet? <laughs> how, do you, how do you say that? I said bouquet for the entire while we were filming yes. it, but the announcers all seem to be saying bouquet, so. Your guess is as I good would have as been mine. a boo. You would have been a boo. It's probably either or, isn't it? I'm it's a bouquet. bouquet. It's bouquet oh. of flowers. Yeah. You don't say bouquet, do you? Maybe well, you do. You, you know the way I say most things. Maybe it's a regional thing. But isn't could it? I ask you, Tom? Yeah. Uh, and we saw the compilation there. We tried to describe it um, for people who are into it, for people who haven't seen it. How barbed is this bouquet? <laughs> how barbed is it? It's it's incredibly barbed. It's one of it's a, it's it's. It was on in the 70s and it was incredibly shocking at the time because the stuff that was being shown was so... It had never been seen. This is the underlying theme or tone of, of incest. Yes, really, the, well, the incest and also there was themes of domestic abuse and... Uh, affairs. As you, and affairs, all mm. sorts. And as a result, a lot of that stuff you see in Corrie or EastEnders mm. all the time now anyway. But, uh, so for this we needed, we needed something that had a slightly different... So it couldn't shock anymore, it just needed something that was a bit more uneasy and unsettling. And unpleasant, mm -hmm. and that's the kind of response that it seemed to have. Is that people are going? I feel anxious watching it. It's making me feel uneasy. Do you, and do you believe that we are unshockable now? Then I think I wouldn't say unshockable. I'd say that we there are there are certain things that you could do to just make it shocking. That is really doing it for mm. shocking sake, showing things that you don't necessarily mm. want to see, but seeing would disgust you. Whereas this is, rather than that, has sort of moved away from just shock value and gone for something And else. did you go and research and, and watch the original drama? No, no. no I didn't. I, the, we, a lot has changed for this one. And, um, and it was a seven-parter originally, and this is three parts. So much as I, I, I heard amazing things about it, I really just wanted to go with what was on the page and mm. just go from there. Okay. Now, what is what is on the page? I particularly want to ask. We were mentioning earlier about you being a great um, tweeter. <laughs> uh, what is happening on your page as a Twitter? Because if people got access to you, and the final part is when is it Mon Monday, Monday night? Monday night, yeah. right? The final part, third and final part, Monday night. They all want to know what's mm. happening. They all want you to understand and let the cat out of the bag. Mm. But I'm not going. To. Yeah. Well, what what are they saying to you? Do people Just, actually understand the plot? Do they see what's coming? I think people. A lot of people are sort of saying that they're saying they're loving it, but it, they're really having to concentrate. And it's quite exciting to have a drama like that in prime time that's making people really sort of sit glued to their seat and they can't be mm. checking the internet. We live mm. in a world where everyone does everything at once and it's so nice to, that people actually have to sit and focus to get the most out of it. But do they like Gavin? He's not a very likeable character. No, he's awful. Is he? He's, I, was, I was in a, a lift the other day, in the, sort of the 18th floor of a hotel, and I went down about two floors and a guy got in and he was sort of looking at me like this, just looking at me very strangely. I thought this is okay. Hello, and uh, and about two floors down, he just leaned over and he said, "My wife thinks you're horrible," which was <laughs> not. It's a surreal thing to hear in a Good lift. Good morning to you. Too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> he said, if, and I told her that if I ever met anyone like you, I'd punch you. Oh, no. And I was going, okay, <laughs> floor fourteen, floor thirteen. Come on, come on. Because I mean, Gavin would probably take a punch and yeah. raise an eyebrow and say something dry, whereas I just crumble like a bag of kittens, yeah. probably. Well, look, he, he, here's one of the reasons which gets them all in sense, all fired up. And th this is this is a clip from Monday night's uh, episode, mm. where um, where things happen. This is actually one of the stories we were talking about today about older women, younger men, and all all that sort it's of thing. He made her do it. Okay, well, let's see what he made her do. Here we go. Shall I tell you why you did it? 
your whole life. Cassandra is spent gluing things together. Move, please. You're boiling, by the way. As we say, we can't, we don't want to give away, but I was reading, Hermione Norris apparently said in an <laughs> interview about kissing you, yeah, she said, I felt uncomfortable because I felt like I could be his mother. Yes. That, yes. Well, she, I think she just, she just kept apologising and saying, <laughs> I'm so sorry about this, darling, I don't want to be really, really poor you, and it's actually, you want to go, Hermione, you, you've never seen yourself, you're OK, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. She's what, she's what, 14, 15 years old? Uh, 11 or 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. she is, yeah. She's lovely, isn't she? She's fantastic. Oh, just, it was a joy to be around. I think there'll be a lot of young men who wouldn't mind a snog no, with indeed. her. The hub is hubbing uh, at the, hub the moment, we've hubbing. got to say. Right. We're going over, uh, vibrating in the middle of the hub, Matt <laughs> Johnson now. Uh, what, what have you got as in relation to Tom, Matt? Well, loads of viewers love in Bouquet of Barbed Wire, mate. You've done a great job. Um, Tracy on Facebook, uh, if you weren't able to be an actor, what other job would you do? Um, I'd, I love cooking. I'd, I'd, I'd retrain as a chef, yeah. I'd, I'd, I, and, I, and I think I'd love it. I, I really, really love doing it. And, I, and there are moments where, you know, the, the, the career goes up and down and you think, I'm not going to work again. And you start thinking, well, maybe I could do job this. And yeah, what, exactly. what other jobs Tough have job you done cooking. in the past? And nothing, and nothing weird I've jobs. done. I've, well, not really. I mean, I've done waiting and all the stuff yeah. that I did while I was at drama school. But, um, yeah. Well, if you like cooking, you can stay around this morning if you've got time. We're doing cookery with Res yeah, Mohammed, nice, Indian yeah. food this really? morning. Really? Yeah. Good. What okay. else, Matt? Mel Cameron on Facebook wants to know, do you enjoy playing a baddie? Is it a juicy role? Yes, it's, a, <laughs> it's, very, it's very juicy. And it's a lot of fun because you relish it, and the character is relishing being a baddie. He's got nothing to lose, so he's seeing how far he can push it. But on Monday night, you will find out that he's not quite as why bad. Why he is. Well, we You'll feel sorry for him. You Quick one to finish with, Matt. Yeah, sure. Alexandra Skinner on Facebook. What do you prefer, Robin Hood or Bouquet of Barbed Wire? Do, what do I prefer? Yeah. <laughs> I prefer Bouquet of Barbed Wire. <laughs> Naturally. Since this is his yeah. current project. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Matt, thanks very much indeed. Keep bubbling in the hub there. Thank See you. you later, Thank guys. You See you later. Tom, Tom, what's coming up after this? Um, I'm doing a uh, show for ITV again called Monroe, which is Jimmy Nesbitt. It's written by Peter Bowker, who's an incredible, uh, incredible wrote occupation and Blackball. And I'm not allowed to say who the director is yet. I've been told... I can't. So, but, so, um, so a medical, medical mm, drama. Then. He's a terrific director. Are you a doctor? I'm um, an anaesthetist. Oh. Mm, yes, I've, I've been up in uh, Leeds this week meeting anaesthetists, and I've got to go see a brain operation on Monday morning. And, oh dear. Are you yeah. squeamish? I don't know yet. I'm going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> we will. Come back and tell us all about yeah. it. Yeah. Lovely, Lovely seeing you. Well, uh, look forward to Monday third night. Third and final episode. Yeah, Monday night, ITV One, nine o'clock. Mm. And if you want to tweet him, what's your Twitter address? Uh, at this is Tom Riley. At this is Tom Riley. Simple as that. Thank you very much. Indeed. Good scene. Cheers. Thank Lovely. you. Thank, Thank you, Tom. Um, uh, and don't go away because Alison Hammond's black dress boot camp is coming up a little bit later. Find out how she's been getting on this week.